hello and welcome back to In The Kitchen With Pen. And today, well, it's British strawberry season, so I'm making something with strawberries. And it's, well, it's an American recipe really, but let me tell you, it tastes just as good in Britain. And that is strawberry shortcake. So in my bowl here, I have some cut strawberries and I've just sprinkled over some sugar and I've stirred and I've put them aside. You can put them in the fridge if liked, but for now, I'm just putting them to one side for at least 30 minutes, okay? So, done. Then, in my bowl, I have four, I'm only making for two, right? So, double, quadruple the quantities for if you want more. I have four ounces of self-raising flour I have one ounce of sugar, and it's just ordinary granulated sugar. And I've just mixed them together. Then I'm going to mix them with, in here I have, sorry, I have two ounces of milk and half an ounce of double cream. And on my hob at the moment, melting, or should I say, almost melted, I have an ounce of butter okay so what I have to do is I have to mix all of this the wet into the dry so let's bring it down and show you right we're going to add in the butter and you want it to have um, started to go slightly brown you know you get that nutty brown you can smell it often and it just has this nutty flavour okay so add like that and then our milk and our cream and again I want to try and get all of that out waste not want not and then we'll mix this together to form a dough. And it shouldn't take too long. And indeed it hasn't. Now I'm going to sprinkle some flour onto my work surface. In fact, what I will do I'll use my mat to get it open. sprinkle some flour onto the mat and we're going to work the dough just a little we don't want to overwork it so we're going to tip out our dough and we're going to work it and by work it I mean just bring it together a little more like you'll see just keep turning it over that's it and there you are obviously bigger bigger amount of dough you're going to have to work it a little more now I want to pat this dough out and then I'm going to cut it into I'm actually going to roll it. Now I am rolling, but I'm actually only gently rolling, okay? So, and turn it a quarter turn each time. Right, now I'm going to get a knife. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half and in half again and being very careful not to go through onto my mat. 
I need to now prepare my baking tray, which I will do and then show you. Always line your baking tray. I'm just using a silk hat mat, but you could use baking paper. So we then put our little squares. Remember, you'd probably have eight, but I don't want to make too many because there are just the two of us. Okay, so what's are going on there? Like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to brush the tops with a little double cream. Very indulgent. So just pour it into there. And brush the top. And whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to preheat the oven, switch it on, preheat the oven on bake to 200. You'd be doing it at 220. And our time will be about 15 minutes in an ordinary oven. So I'm only going for, I'm going for 12 minutes and press start. And I'll carry on doing this. Right, and they will got a covering of the double cream. And then we're just going to sprinkle some sugar over each of the pieces of dough. And we sprinkled flour then, didn't I? Did you see? Right. And now I can't do anything until that heats up. Clearing down. Won't take long to preheat, and uh, then I can get all cleared up and ready for the next part. You'll sandwich in each one of these together, that's why I've only done four. Because one each will be plenty, don't worry. We could eat more, but we're not going to. Right, we've heated up. And we're going in. And now I can leave them. I will look at them, but on the whole, just like in your oven, just generally leave them until they're baked. Whilst our shortcakes are cooking, I'm going to whip up some cream. And what I'm going to do is I am going to add some vanilla to the cream and today I'm using a vanilla paste so we will actually see the vanilla flecks in the cream. I possibly need a little bit more cream. So what I'm going to do is leave that there not quite like that and add some vanilla bean paste. That's if I can open it. Oh my goodness. That ain't going to open. I'll be back. Open now. I had to go and get Steve to do it because I really couldn't get it to turn. Now, if you've not seen vanilla bean paste before, this is what it looks like. So it's essentially an extract, but it has actually bits of bean in it. So I'm going in with just over a quarter of a teaspoon. And trust me, this will taste amazing. I've got the lid back on because it's not cheap. But then again, what is? And we're going to continue to mix. 
until we get nice soft peaks. Meanwhile, meanwhile, our strawberry shortcake has cooked. So let's take it out because we do not want it overcooking. And actually, what I will do is we will have two each because I can split those, but that's what they look like. So I'm just going to leave them to cool down for a while and get on with whisking this. Right, we're there. Oops. What I'm doing now is whisking that. It's not actually touching, but it's getting all the cream off of the pizza. Well, some of it. There we are, and we have our cream. And that will sit nicely inside our strawberry shortcake. Our shortcake has cooled and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut each one in half Oops. or sort of half and I'm going to fill it with our cream there's the inside of it beautiful so let's get it filled with the cream and some of the strawberries and I'll show you doing one and uh, then obviously I'll do the others off camera and uh, well, we can have a little try can't we? So we have our cream, now we have some of our, these are called macerated strawberries there we go and we pop our top on and I'll get on with the others and then you can see it all finished. We are done. We are cooked and don't they look delicious. I've just put a sprig of mint because it looks quite pretty and I actually quite like the taste of mint. So, I've got to break into one, haven't I? Oh my God, it seems, it's, it seems almost wrong but for you I'll do it but what I will do is I will actually cut it in half because I know it's going to be messy so get a tea plate ready oh my goodness right. I am going to get a plate or a saucer just in case uh, just in case I make a mess I think I mean for when I make a mess right and you can see lots of strawberry lots of cream and the shortcake gosh I suppose it would be more polite to eat with a fork but we're all friends and the shortcake because believe it or not that's all I've got at the moment is delicious it's not overly sweet. It has a lovely soft texture. And now oh. I suppose really I want to let Steve see what he thinks, anyway. not I? What? Should I just eat them all? No, I'll get Steve. Proof I didn't eat, proof I didn't eat them all. I have got Steve through for a taste. It's tempting though. What is it? Strawberry shortcake. Yeah, right. It's got strawberry in it. Um, one or two. Very nice. I'm sure about the grass. I knew, I knew. That was very polite. It's normally green. Sh very nice. You have had them before, but... Yeah.
<laughs> okay, well, that's a yes from him, I keep, guess. Keep cooking, Pen. <laughs> uh, so, strawberry shortcakes, English strawberry season. Buy them, go pick them. It's a great family day out or afternoon out, I should say. And make these, you won't be disappointed. Thank you for watching. See you again very soon. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this edition of In the Kitchen <laughs> with Pen and sometimes Steve. If you'd like to see more of our cooking and review videos, then click here. But if you'd really like to help the channel grow and subscribe, please click here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. Oh, yes. Keep cooking. Right, send that to me.